Namaste everyone. In this video, we'll see how to prepare a multi-layered flat bread called Racha Parata using sprouted wheat flour. Sprouted wheat flour can be store-bought or made at home. I have uh, uploaded videos showing how you can make sprouted wheat flour at home. I'll provide the link in the description box. Add two cups of sprouted wheat flour to a bowl. Add one teaspoon of salt. Mix the dry ingredients well. Adding small quantities of water, mix the flour into a dough. The dough should be slightly sticky. Knead the dough for five minutes. And when the dough is well kneaded, it should bounce back. When kneading is completed, cover the bowl and let the dough rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Gently knead the dough again. Divide the dough into four equal parts. For two cups of flour, you can prepare four lacha paratha. Take each part of the dough and roll it into a ball. Grease the hands with either ghee or oil and roll it as thin as possible. You can use as much oil or ghee as necessary to roll out the roti. When the roti is as thin as you can roll it, generously brush the top of the roti with ghee or oil. Lacha paratha is a layered flat bread. In order to create the layers in the flat bread, the roti has to be folded into pleats. Fold the roti gently into pleats and make them as thin as you can. Uh, press the pleats as you go along as shown in the video. When the pleats are all completed, the roti will look like a folded strip. Stretch the strip till it becomes double the length. Starting at one end of the strip, roll the dough into a circle. Tuck the other end of the strip into one of the folds. Press this disc slightly using the palm and roll it out using the rolling pin. While rolling the paratha, be gentle because it is important to retain the layers when the paratha is completed. Gently lift the paratha without separating out the layers. Place it on a hot tawa or pan. Using low to medium heat, brown both sides of the paratha. You can brush some oil or ghee if necessary while the paratha is being browned. When both sides are nicely browned, remove the paratha from the tawa and put it on a plate. Similarly, finish the remaining lacha parathas. Lacha paratha can be served as a meal in itself. It pairs very well with several vegetarian or non-vegetarian dishes. If you like this recipe, feel free to browse the channel. There are more recipes using sprouted wheat flour. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel and share. Thank you for watching the video.